Welcome to the Clacton and Kirby Church's Nativity, 23rd of December, so very nearly at Christmas. Let's get there. Uh, my name's Mark. It's great to uh, be here with you today. Let's find out what's being added to our Nativity scene. go to sleep tonight where will you sleep you'll sleep in a bed won't you but this is what the Bible tells us about where Jesus was put after he was born while Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem the time came for her to have the baby she gave birth to her first son there were no rooms left in the inn so she wrapped the baby with cloths and laid him in a box where the animals are fed. And that's what we're adding to our nativity scene today. We've got the, the manger here. So let's just pop that there. The Bible tells us that after Jesus was born, Mary wrapped him in cloths and lay him down to sleep. But remember how there was no room for Mary and Joseph in the inn? There wasn't a bed or a crib to lay him in. The baby Jesus was tucked into a manger. A manger is a wooden box used to hold food for animals to eat. It probably wasn't very soft or even very clean. Maybe Mary filled it with hay to make it softer for the tiny new baby. Now this is a very surprising way for a great king to be born. And it's very strange that when God chose to send his own son into the world, he had him enter a stable and sleep in an animal's food box. The humble way that Jesus was born was the same way that he would live his whole life. Jesus came as a king, but as a king who serves his people. The world had never seen a king like this. And let's pray. Dear Jesus, it's amazing that to us, that when you came from God into our world, you were born into a stable and slept in a manger instead of a king's bed. We thank you for coming as our servant king. Amen. <laughs> 